Hello everyone, Keely and I are going to show you a couple more cool products from Weston. Um, this is the Weston uh, Food Sealer. This is a Harvest Guard model. This is actually um, one, of their, one of their less expensive models, but it still works really good, which is why I want to show it to you. And uh, just a couple features of it here. It's, this is your vacuum and seal button. Uh, this is automatic seal. Uh, vacuum only and then there's two two different settings on how much uh, air that it sucks out of the bag normal and extended and um, Mainly you're going to want to leave it on the extended section. It seems to work better there For bags, I just want to show you guys a couple couple of their products um, This is the pint size bag and uh, you can see I still have at least a half a pound maybe three quarters of a pound of steak in there Plenty for two people, um, but if you need more, this is a quart size bag, and this holds really more than enough for a whole family. Uh, the other neat thing about this bag that I want to show you is this is their zippered bag. So some people are confused by these, but the zippered side is already sealed right here. So you put your meat in this side, and then we're going to seal it, and I'll show you how that, that zipper works. So you just put it right in here shut the lid Yum. Kaylee's gonna push the seal button this one yep and then you gotta push it down a little bit to get it started and it knows when there's enough air out of it It does that second second run there right as it's doing the seal to make sure that it has all the arrow as it seals it. You can see that's a really nice seal there. And then uh, this is a really neat feature, especially if you marinate your steaks. Um, right here, easy tear. So this is the other end of the bag now. We're just going to easy tear it open. And then the zipper comes right undone. You can put your marinades in there. Tip it back shut and you're good to go. The other nice thing about these, after you dump your, your steak out and you gotta throw this in the garbage if you don't reuse it, you can just zip this shut after the steak's been in the freezer and back out. There'll be quite a bit of blood in here. Zip this shut before you throw it in the trash and it just keeps your uh, trash clean also. So a couple of really neat products. That's the pint size, uh, quart size with the, with the zipper and of course they do the rolls and they do the gallon bags. While we're doing this, I want to show a little trick that I found to, to make sure that you get all the air out of these bags and get a really good seal. And this, this is one benefit of using a bigger bag, maybe even bigger than you need. Um, if you can look closely here with this smaller bag, I tried to pack a lot of meat in it. And what happened is the meat filled side to side here, so it, the, the machine couldn't pull the air out of that back corner. See, there's still some air in there. So you're gonna, you're gonna have some bad results if you leave that in the freezer for an extended period of time. If you use a bigger bag and center the pile of meat like this, it's real easy for the machine to pull all the air from around it. You'll have better results. See how it's getting it out real easy, real good all around the sides now. And then once the once it's the seal's done, you pull the bag out. You can just uh, smush this down so it sits flatter in your freezer. I wouldn't want to say. I wouldn't want to say. So then now I just go like that, and that stacks real nice in the freezer that way.